Great job, Texas. Um, I think if you're a part, whether you're an alumni, uh, fan, uh, if you're, uh, you know, the coaches, the players, I think everyone who's involved with the Texas Longhorns and this football team today needed to happen. We all needed this. Texas goes into Lubbock, beats Texas Tech 31 to 22, um, and really just, it was impressive because of what we've seen from this team so far this season. Um, what did we learn about this team? We learned that this is not a great football team. It's not, it's not. It's very, very limited. Um, but today they did enough with the parts that they have to get a victory on the road against Texas Tech. Um, David Ash, first half was great, was awesome. Second half didn't play very well. But guess what we did? When Jonathan Gray, he was able to carry us home, open up a big pass, and uh, Ash was able to hit Mike there uh, for the touchdown that kind of put us away in that one. Um, on the defensive side, you know, here, here's the thing. Did the defense look great? No. But, but to be fair, when you have a little perspective and you know how this defense has struggled all season, to look back and see that we gave up 22 points against Texas Tech, I don't care what season it is, you only give up 22 to Texas Tech in Lubbock, uh, it's a pretty good day. And the fact that a lot of those points came from field goals that from where the ball was in the red zone against Texas. That's where they stepped up today. Did they give up big plays? Did they give up a fourth and eighth? Yes, they still have the same problems, but they were able to step it up when it counted. Guys like Carrington Bynum, who we all were very high on coming into the season, especially the way he played against A&M last year. That was really his coming out game. Uh, today he had one of those games, uh, not just in the coverage, but also, of course, the, the big one was blocking the kick there at the end uh, and really sealing it for Texas, against Texas Tech. Um, so overall, I mean, it, but of course, as you watch that game, see the way they play, the way the, the, the emotion the guys played with, they played smart today. The, the, the coaching staff, I love the way they, they, the play calling today for the most part. Harsh did a good job. Uh, you know, I think Diaz, for, like I said, look, give them credit where credit is due. The defense did what they had to do against Texas Tech. So what's it say about Texas? Well, it says we can compete. And that's what I've wanted from this team all year. Um, what made me so upset about the Oklahoma game, and I've said this before, was not that we got beat by Oklahoma. It wasn't even that they got blown out against Oklahoma. It was the fact that we didn't even compete. It was just the game was over once Oklahoma got their first down, their first first down. And then, of course, you know, against Baylor, just awful on defense. And then the Kansas game was just, just you know, that was inexcusable the way that went. So for those guys, I think it's, it does say a lot about that group of guys that are out there to come out and play that way against a Texas Tech team that most people, most of us probably thought was going to beat them. So a character check for Texas. They succeeded in that one. Uh, it's always fun to beat Tech. I mean, you know, that's always great. And, uh, you know, next week, Iowa State at home, 11 o'clock. Um, that game is no joke. I've been saying this for a while. Iowa State's good. They've proven it. And that's going to be a ball game next week. And Texas, it's, it's a different kind of team. And we'll see how they do. Well, we won't see it because it's on LHN. So most of us won't get to see it. Um, but the game will be had. And we'll, we'll, we'll see the highlights afterwards or try to you know, find it somewhere, somewhere we can watch it. So great win for Texas. So happy. Like I said, it's always fun to beat Texas Tech, especially when it's in Lubbock. Get all those fans. They got all upset and stuff. It's great. So uh, hook them horns and Texas fight. And uh, Iowa State, it's another test for Texas. We'll see you guys later. Hook them.